everybody. My name is Bobby Egan. Today we're going to do a workshop that covers the concept of negative space. In this picture, we have the foreground, which is actually using the paper color as the main part of it. And then we have different layers going into the background. We have a, 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 the next layer is slightly darker and we, as as we go back into space, we're going to make it darker and darker and darker. I'm also going to introduce, because we're, we're covering the topic of around the globe, I'm featuring the Amazon rainforest. One of the birds in the Amazon rainforest is the toucan, so I'm going to uh, draw this bird. And there's many species of butterflies as well, so this the butterfly over here is going to represent the butterflies of the Amazon rainforest. One of the things I've done also, you can do a horizontal version of this if you like as well. Doing the same thing, taking a piece of paper, putting some color down on it and, and increasingly going back into space to create different layers. I also tried a painted version. I started the painted version and you can do this as well. If you have to want to spend some more time, you can do the same exact concept Instead, I use watercolor here. You make a basic wash with watercolor. You can pour some salt on it to get this blotchy kind of texture tone. And then each, as each layer dries, you can create another layer and go back in the space that way. And here you see the butterfly and the toucan. Here's the uh, initial outline of the negative space drawing that we're gonna create. I'm using crayons. And if you want to get set up and get started, I pick some basic colors in a, in a lighter, lighter tones, medium tones, and dark tones, so that I have them that ready to go back into space. And I'm using I'm using a pretty heavy pencil. I have an eraser if I need one, and also I'm using a pencil sharpener, which works great to sharpen crayons if you need to get a finer point. As long as you don't press too hard into the pencil sharpener, it makes a really nice edge. So when we get started with this, we're going to have the different layers and I'll show you how to go through each layer one at a time. So taking a piece of blank paper, I'm going to put my finished picture next to it so I can see at a glance what I'm actually looking at. And if you can see in the beginning, uh, in the in, in a rainforest or in the jungle, there's a, there's a the tree canopy is very dense and very heavy and it comes over area it, it hangs over the top of the rainforest and if you want to just indicate that with some leafy shapes you don't have to worry about it being accurate and um, also when you think about a jungle you're thinking about different shape of vines and, and leaves and there's no limit as to what you can do with that as well. And you can kind of come from this area over, and then you can also bring it over here. What you want to end up with is having something in the middle. And when you think about a tree, the tree trunk is going to be wider at the bottom. It's going to go up into the sky. Now, if you think about tree branches, they reach out into the sky, just like your hands do, if you stretch out your hands, you see the branches expand. And what they're doing is the trunk of the tree is where the tree gets its nutrients from, and it's going to come up. So you can just create a curve for the trunk, keeping it wider at the top. I need a place for my toucan to sit, so I'm going to create a branch coming off here. And if you just follow along, think that, remember that branches and trunks are wider at the base, at their thickest point, and then they, they fan out and become thinner as they end. So if you can come across there, if I'm following this image up here, I'm gonna create a shape here. And I'm going to make this is called a crotch. These, these branches are in the shapes of V's and W's and Y's. They're all shaped similarly in that respect. And I'm gonna just 
create my tree. With that in mind, I'm gonna come down and I have created, here I have created a semblance of a tree. Now I'm gonna come up across here and I'm going to finish it up. Now, one of the reasons why I did this in pencils, because if I have an eraser, I can erase a line. Just remember to hold your paper down so you're not pulling, you're not going this way and pulling your paper forward. You always want to erase away. And what I'm erasing here is I'm, what I want to create here is one solid shape. So none of these intersecting lines are going to have any color on them. So I want them to simply be the focus of my drawing. And the shapes that I'm creating are negative. So I'm going to have them come up this way and they're gonna finish up here. understand the sense of space is to create or initially all of our layers in one color that way we kind of we can, we can understand what parts of what part of the picture is going to be colored in and what section of the picture is in the layer colors to make them darker and richer and filling in each shape that go across. And what I'm doing just just to finalize that you can see some of the areas here I have just delineated and by delineate I mean I'm using the point I'm using the point of the crayon and I'm creating a little bit more depth so right there and I'm gonna do that just in a couple of spots just to make it pop out more. <laughs> 